how your body gets damaged in a whiplash injury. When you are hit from behind, does your neck just simply hyperextend backwards? An important study from about 10 years ago showed us that when you are hit from behind, the back of the car seat pushes your mid-back forward. This force from the car seat flattens out the curve in your spine and puts compressive forces down to your low back and up to your neck. This study shows that even before your neck gets thrown backwards in the typical way that you picture your neck to get pitched, the neck actually deforms into an S shape. The discs in between the bones get a lot of compression from this deformity, then the upper part of the neck pitches backwards, jamming the joints. Finally, the lower part of the neck is also extended backwards with the rest of the spine in hyperextension. When your neck gets thrown back into hyperextension, the joints in the back part of your neck, called the facet joints, jam together. Normally these joints are supposed to glide past each other and guide normal neck movement. They slam into each other, however, during a whiplash, though, and this can cause a lot of neck pain and even permanent damage to the spine. All of this motion occurs between 80 and 150 milliseconds. This is far before your neck muscles have time to contract and protect the spine with reflexes. So reflexes make the muscles contract in about 200 milliseconds. And this is probably about the time that your neck is starting to move forward into hyperflexion. So it's too late to protect your joints. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but sometimes when cars have just a little bit of damage, there can be more damage to your neck. Meanwhile, there, there can be other accidents with crushed crumple zones in the car, but the person driving feels little pain. The reason for this is that when the car does not get crushed in an accident, the forces from the impact actually suddenly push the car forward, sending more of the impact to the person sitting inside, you, sitting inside the car. Meanwhile, the crushed car has absorbed a lot of the force through the crumple zones, taking up a lot of the slack for the person inside. If the force is strong enough, your muscles will then contract to protect the damage to your spine and to brace yourself. This force can also cause your muscles to get torn. This is a muscle strain. Ligaments get sprained, muscles get strained. While the word strain can sound innocuous, keep in mind that the fibers in your muscles are actually getting torn apart. This can cause you a lot of swelling, lots of pain, and lots of bruising. If your neck gets pitched back far enough, the ligament that lines the front part of your spine can become torn and make your spine unstable. This can also tear the muscles in the front part of your neck and make you extremely sore, making it hard to move your neck or even swallow. Fortunately, your muscles have a good blood supply and they heal quickly. The ligaments, though, have a harder time with the healing process. Your ligaments can take up to a year to heal completely. In a severe impact, your brain can become bruised too. Your brain is soft and it sits inside a hard skull. As you get hit from behind or from the side, your brain can potentially impact the back part of the skull in one motion and can impact the front part of the skull in the next motion. This is called a coup contra coup brain injury and it can cause a severe concussion on both sides of the brain. When you see this, well you see this in sports too, and football players often suffer later on in life because of it. Because of the potential brain injury, you need to have your neurological system checked thoroughly by your doctor. Fortunately, chiropractic physicians are trained to diagnose the nervous system using neurological exams like cranial nerve exams, deep tendon reflexes, and muscle strength tests to provide the specific diagnosis. Of course, we have advanced imaging tools such as MRIs and advanced diagnostic tools like NCV, EMG, and VNG at our disposal to hone in on the di diagnostic problem when we need them.